guys, Justin here with another episode of Fish and Dive Hawaii where we give you all the best fishing and diving tips and today we are giving you guys some fishing tips. So I'm going to teach you guys how to set up a whipping rig which is probably the most popular um, fishing rig or fishing style here in Hawaii which is just a typical casting rig with a lure of your choice or any type of bait um, attached to a long leader line and a weight on top of that. So. It's just like a really steady, fun way to fish and you can try out different things and see, see what bites at certain spots and so we're going to learn how to tie something like this, alright? The first thing you guys are going to need is fluorocarbon line. Now this is different than monofilament and it's a lot more expensive. You can see $8.99 for 100 yards of this. So this is what everybody suggests because the fish... Um, bite off of this line more because it's kind of it just disappears in the water but I have had some set some success with monofilament lines so it's just up to you guys how much you want to spend but if you want to get the good stuff then make sure you get fluorocarbon line this one I picked up at Charlie's but you can pick up other um, brands like Yozuri I think J line is is another one but yeah fluorocarbon line or any type of leader is what you need first so the second thing you guys are gonna need is some swivels you want to get these basic crane swivels not the three point ones that you would use in like a dunking rig which will do a video on that later on but you need a crane swivel I have here size 3 which is pretty much good for all types of tackle it's not too big it's not too small if you want to go cheaper you can pick up a huge pack of these about a hundred for $5.98 and then I bought, I bought these at um, my Pahu bike and sporting goods store so that's number two crane swivels Another thing you guys might want to pick up are these swivels right here. So pretty much it's a crane swivel attached to this clip. And when you open the clip up, you can attach it to another line. So for instance, you'll have a swivel right here and you'll just attach it to there. That way, if you ever get like a line caught up or something, you'll have this attached to your main line and then you can interchange um, you can interchange the swivels on the bottom if your line gets caught or whatnot. But these aren't required, but I would suggest these just because it's going to make your fishing experience a little better. The third thing you guys are going to need is some kind of weight um, or sinkers. I have these egg sinkers right here. You're going to have to look on your pole. It'll show you um, what it suggests for each um, or different poles, like three to four ounce, one to one and a half ounce. So. These are one ounce poles and I'm throwing this on a 4500 reel on a 7 foot pole. And you can also use different types like this rosin ball, resin ball, whatever you want to call it. This is a hammer bomb one ounce. And then you can also use one of my favorite ones which is this bubble, this bubble egg thing where you put your line through here and then you'll have your swivel and set up right here. This one is good because it floats on the top and a lot of times you'll have your line getting caught on the reef especially with these hammer bombs which is like 70 bucks a pop you get that stuck in a place where you can't retrieve it you're gonna be pretty bummed out these I don't worry about too much because these are a little cheaper as you can see less than five bucks for 10 of them and it's cheaper if you buy bulk and so you need some kind of weight system whether it's a resin ball, rosin ball, um, egg leads or this bubble right here then you're going to need some hooks. So smaller is better. Again, this depends on what kind of size you're going to go for. But if you're if you're um, whipping for any type of small game, you don't want to be getting big hooks too. Like the biggest I would suggest is like an eight or something. And you always want to get circle hooks. Um, I don't really have any circle hooks over here because um, I bought these that were on sale at a store. And so I have different types right here, black hooks. I heard black hooks are better, but um, I've had success with this one as well, and so any type of hook will work. And always look for the ones that uh, see how this one has a bigger eye. It's just easier to tie, especially when you're working with small line and fluorocarbon line, which is a little bit um, more stiff than regular mono line. Lastly, you're gonna want to use any type of bait or grub that you can get. That is my stash of grubs. I have a bunch of grubs. I love company lures. Oh look, I found a bunch of egg sinkers too. Right here, this is a Cleopatra one. I have some Owama ones. I have, what are these ones? I'm not sure what these are called. Anyways, 
Yeah, any type of lures, I get a bunch of them just because I kind of collect them at the same time. And I don't even use all of them. I do like the Oama one and the Cleopatra one. Company lures makes good ones. CHLs make good ones as well. Um, those blue ones in the middle right here are CHLs. And the revolvers are good too of companions. So any type of grub. I also have this sort of minnow looking one, which is just a big strip. And these are action right here. And Companion Lords carries these. So yeah, any type of grub will work. Just anything that was is gonna attract fish, obviously, to your hook. It's the main reason why the fish are gonna bite your hook. You can also use strips of Ika, taco, um, anything else, but grubs are the go-to because they're pretty cheap and um, they're just cool to have. All right, so I have everything out in front of me, everything that I need, and we're gonna go with step number one, which is to tie your swivel to your leader right here. And so. I have this out in front of me, I'm going to tie this line and if you guys haven't um, watched my first video of this sort of tips and tricks um, series, I go over the easiest fishing knot to learn which is a blood knot. So if you guys haven't watched that video, I'm going to put a little card thing right over here and so if you guys want to learn how to tie that, then check that out because that is the knot I'm going to be using right now. If you guys already have your own fishing knots and you can use whatever, whether it be poly, um, polymer knot, whatever you guys want to use. Um, you are more than happy to do so and so we're gonna be doing the blood knot right here spin this six times All right and yeah again you want to give it some leeway um, some play at the ends that way you're not getting yourself all caught to over here put it inside through the hole back over here pull it in and we'll tighten that right at the end right there and again you want to make sure this is sitting well and this bottom piece right here isn't slipping out as you're tying it this is um the easiest part but the trickiest part because this is going to determine whether or not you're even going to catch any fish and that's the length of your leader and so it kind of depends on what the grounds are you're going um if you guys haven't watched my video on the fishing spots one that's a good one to watch if you're going to try a new spot Kind of look at what the reef looks like, if there's pockets and shelves in the reef or if it's kind of deeper water. And so this is how you're going to determine how, you're going to, how long you're going to make your line. So with deeper water, obviously you want a longer leader, especially if it's sandy. Um, longer leaders are better, that way it gives the lure a little bit more play than shorter ones. And you're not so close to the swivel where the fish can see um, whatever it is that you're using attached to your, um, attached to your hook. So longer leaders are preferred, but sometimes it's really shallow and you can't really get away with that. And so um, what I do is I go an arm and a half's length on pretty much all of my rigs. So that's gonna be about, I'd say three, three and a half feet or so, three feet, but I'm tall, I'm six, I'm six two, so my arm length is gonna be different than if you're a midget. So I uh, clip the other end, now I'm going to tie this side to the hook. I have here my handy little pack thing that I bought at Waipahu Bike and Sporting Goods. I'm sure you guys can find something similar on Amazon, um, but it's really cool. You see I have all my grubs, I usually tie, put all my swivels and flies and stuff in here and I keep all my hooks in a specific one and I always carry different types of hooks too, um, that way I can kind of mess around with it. If I don't, I'm going to be tying rigs on the spot. Get a hook right here. I do have beads and stuff that you can use. Honestly, you can use whatever you want, whatever works for you. There's the yellow beads, which people like to use for hallelujah fishing. And clear beads, red beads, all kinds of beads. <laughs> we're going to tie this through. Again, same, same knot, blood knot of out of focus over here Let's spin this around two, three four five six get this back in through right here oh. back through here right here and pull it again and let it sit and watch it sit on the end okay boom so I got my 
swivel on one end and then I got my hook on the other and that was pretty much it now we're just gonna look for a grub to put on top and I'm gonna link another video of um, somebody that I watch <clears throat> here on Oahu actually who makes videos like this all about fishing his name is scuba Chris so shout out scuba Chris um, before I used to tie all my rigs at the beach and now I prep them just like I'm showing you guys and um, that way when I get to the beach I have at least a few rigs that can get me started and when I get tangled or my hook bends or whatever then I have at least two or three more rigs and you guys can always play around with um, pre-packing the grubs of different colors and whatnot and also the different lengths of the um, lead line that you're going to be using and so shout out scuba chris i'm going to link one of his videos um, that shows something very very similar to what i'm doing so you guys can go check out his channel as well and so i have my grub right here my swivel on the other end i can find it and that's about it guys i mean this is how i set my grub you guys can set it however you want some people like to put it on the back end right over here some people like to go just on the tip right here but it's all preference I mean it's up to you and so that's it oh and the whatever weight you're gonna be using is gonna be attached to your main line like that so your swivel is right here and this side is attached to your hook whatever weight you're gonna use like for instance if I'm using this hammer bomb I'm gonna be tying a clip onto here and then this side is gonna be going to my main line on my reel and so when I'm launching this weight this side is my weight right here and my leader and my grub is dragging behind it and yeah this is a kind of a longer video but um, I hope this helped I can go into more detail about this um, later on if you guys want to know specific rigs about like how to target certain fish I had somebody request um, a Hallelu fishing video and um, I really wanted to do that today but I think it's better if I actually go Hallelu fishing and show you the rigs at the spot and plus I don't have the um, tackle it's a lot lighter tackle than um than these because I haven't been going that much so I'll save that video for my subscriber who requested that one so don't forget to keep watching because I will post that video just for you and so this one is just for the basic whipping rig and I hope you guys enjoyed alright mahalo